Hello and welcome back to our series. In honor of International Women's Day and really for the whole month, we wanted to highlight some of the women at Vaxway. We wanted to get to know them, also talk a little bit about some of the issues facing women specifically in our field. Today we are with Apurva Jain. And uh, Apurva, could you please introduce yourself a little bit? Tell us where you are in the world and what you do at Axway and maybe a little bit about how you got interested in your field. Yeah, sure. So, hi, my name is Apurva and I am working as a senior quality engineer at Axway in Dublin. I've worked in the IT industry for the last six years and I have an expertise in software quality assurance. Um, I moved to Dublin about five years ago to get my master's degree and ever since I've suited myself. Being a kid, I always was intrigued by science and technology and I knew I'll make a career in here. So I feel great to be fulfilling my dream. I feel great to be part of this community. That's wonderful. So as, as you probably know, um, or you might've heard, you know, women make about 50% of the workforce, just about half. But uh, especially in our field, in the tech field, uh, only about a quarter. And so obviously there's a little bit of a discrepancy. So we're kind of exploring some of those issues. You know, what do you think from your experience that, that can be done to encourage women to want to be part of this industry? So uh, what I think at first is we can start with a few basic things. Um, first, by creating a more welcoming environment for women. Uh, we should recognize that gender bias exists. Uh, in this field and then we should work towards it by overriding it continuously questioning our assumptions and promoting equal pay and benefits we should acknowledge the achievements of women who have been a part of this industry this will not only inspire the pos inspire positive change but will also drive motivation amongst the girls who are looking forward to be a part of this industry. We can also create a supportive culture, promote hybrid work uh, environment, and then, you know, include uh, people of color, recruit and advertise more gender neutral jobs and organize training, etc., to enhance the skills of women. Yeah, a lot of women that I've spoken with mentioned the importance of having a role model, you know, of seeing somebody that looks like you doing this and, and that's that alone can provide a lot of, of motivation and even, you know, for a young girl, plant a seed of, oh, that's maybe something I can yeah. do. So, yeah, I love that. Yeah. Um, what would you say to this young woman or young girl that might be considering, or maybe somebody who's reconverting, you know, after having children, that might be considering a career in tech? Do you have any advice? Maybe what are some of the opportunities? Also, what are some of the skills needed in the field? Yeah, so uh, I think, uh, what I have seen or experienced is we as kids usually associate technology with science, you know, long hours of analytical thinking and doing difficult ICT lessons. It's always embedded in their head from the, from the very beginning of their educational career. So I think awareness must be raised among young girls to increase their interest in this field. They should be taught that an, alongside analytical skills, tech industry also needs cognitive thinking and logical reasoning, which women can, you know, do so much better with. We can increase the diversity in this field by including women, and you know they will bring their own. Um, they they would bring their own expertise and creative way of thinking when they would join the STEM fields. And I would I think there are a vast uh, opportunities in this field. Uh, there are several roles that are available when you look in the job market, like you know marketing, data science, software engineering. Um, one like myself, software quality assurance. You can be a product owner, product designer, you can be anything. So it's just that we need to increase the interest of women in these fields. We need to show them there is a vast, there is a vast uh, ocean of opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. Just, just being aware of what is available and what that might look like is huge. Yeah. Um, so maybe let's, let's close with a, maybe a little bit more of a personal question. What do you love? about your job? What is one of your favorite things about working in tech or about specifically your job today? Uh, I think I would first say that the benefits are amazing, as in whenever you look at a corporate job like myself in, in IT, you will get good pay benefits, you will have all the maternity uh, benefits as well. And then apart from that, I have personally uh, a thing uh, to testing, like, you know, I really like attention to details. So I think I am doing what I like to do. So uh, that's it, I, I suppose. 
Well, we're glad you're there with your attention to detail to make sure Axway products are just as the way they should be. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much for joining us today, Apoorva. It was really interesting getting to know you and um, we will be getting to meet a few other women in tech in Axway. Thanks so much. Thank you. It was lovely talking to you as well.